Number 10. Amber Heard According to the internet, Amber Heard is not only an actress, but she's also a humanitarian and a social activist. <laughs> okay, sure. She got her big film break starring in the horror movie All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, but I was genuinely shocked when I saw what movies she's also been in. Did you guys know that she was 406 in the movie Zombieland? And she was Seth Rogen's love interest in Pineapple Express. Oh, and she's the reason that Aquaman 2 is going to be delayed. Since 2016, Amber Heard and her ex-husband Johnny Depp have been throwing accusations at each other left and right. They were accused Using each other of domestic altercations that may or may not have taken place during their brief one year marriage. Those accusations were confirmed during their very public trial, in which Depp was suing Amber for defamation over a 2018 op ed for the Washington Post. While the trial brought to light some disturbing truths on both sides, the biggest shock came when, after several days of interviews, witness statements, and mountains of paperwork, a jury found that Amber's statements were in fact false and granted Depp the defamation. Amber had filed a countersuit, which she also kind of technically won, but it was way less than what Johnny got. Sound files, video footage, and witnesses gave concrete evidence that Amber was the instigator in many of their disputes, and that she was subsequently fired from any and all future projects. Number 9. Ellen DeGeneres In her first on-air appearance since announcing the end of her eponymous daytime talk show, Ellen DeGeneres called the press cycle around allegations of toxicity at her workplace orchestrated and misogynistic. The announcement that her show would be cancelled came after months of receiving negative press following a BuzzFeed article reporting former employees alleging the environment was racially insensitive, filled with harassment, and, hey, bullying too. Ellen maintained in interviews that these allegations were not the reason that she would be leaving the show, simply claiming that the program was no longer challenging for her. While the BuzzFeed report did not allege toxic behavior by Ellen herself, several former staff members claimed the whole Be Kind motto was not genuine at all, which was reflected in a Twitter thread published by comedian Kevin T. Porter. He asked people to send in their horror stories about the host's rudeness over the years and received over 2,000 replies. Warner Brothers opened an investigation and included that there were some flaws in the day-to-day -day management of the studio. Following this, Ellen appeared on the 18th season premiere of her show in 2020 and made an on-air apology to viewers, claiming responsibility, later stating that there was no way that she could know the true nature of the work environment due to the 255 employees that worked for her across multiple buildings. Uh, okay, uh, hey, uh, ever heard of a complaint box? Number 8. Katy Perry collects hair. The singer was once asked during an interview a very simple and cute question of, hey, hey, what's in your purse? And fans perhaps hoped that she would respond with like a bottle of Killer Queen, which was her, you know, cologne or, or cupcake crumbs. But Katy Perry answered with, oh, it's just a big empty bag, and then went on to describe what used to be in it. You see, she claimed that while in attendance at her first Grammy Awards ceremony, that she got to share a dressing room with Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift. Now, with all that excitement, you'd think she'd ask for a picture, right? Yeah, no, she asked them for a lock of each of their hair, which Katy found, quote, like totally awesome, but hey, that's weird because ugh. she then elaborated that she would tie little bows to each of them and like put them in her purse. This sounds so made up. Like, how could that be true? No, Miley and Taylor actually backed that story up online, and Perry's claim, and Perry claims to this day that Miley Cyrus is the most famous person in her purse and in her contact books. Nice. Number 7. Josie Smollett In 2019, American actor Josie Smollett, best known for his role in the Mighty Ducks movies and his time as Jamal Leon on the show Empire, approached the Chicago Police Department to report a hate crime. According to himself, two unknown individuals appeared from the shadows and began harassing Josie. They flung racial and homophobic slurs at Smollett while one attacker poured a flammable substance on him, and the other began to insert his head into some rope. News of this altercation made headlines in the following days as it was announced that an investigation would be made to help piece together what exactly happened. Well, too bad for Josie, the Chicago PD are pretty good at their jobs. They quickly found that the two strangers in question were two Nigerian brothers named Abimbola and Olambinjo, who had worked as extras on the set of Empire. They raided the brothers' home and found documents confirming the pair had been paid $3,500 each to stage the event. They had video footage of the brothers purchasing the masks, gloves, and hats that are seen in the altercation footage. They also found receipts for the liquid and rope used during the attack. Hey, not a great time to keep track of your finances, guys. In 2019, Smollett was charged with a class 4 felony for filing a false police report, and on top of that, the Chicago PD was suing him for $130,000 for wasting their time and resources on a fake incident. In the end, he spent 150 days in jail and coughed up a lot of the cash. Number 6. Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Jenner is the youngest of the Kardashian clan and is extremely successful for her age. In 2019, she made the cover of Forbes magazine,
seen as the youngest self-made billionaire ever following the successful partnership between her cosmetic brand and Ulta, a beauty salon company, which would allow the brand previously only available online and in random pop-up stores to be placed on shelves and in Ulta's 1,000 plus stores. This is unfortunate considering the true nature of just where these products come from. You see, rumors of Kylie's mistreatment for her employees were circulating for weeks after several claims from former employees were made public. It turns out every single thing that they said was true. Many people at the factory that mixed and packaged her makeup and beauty products would report that they were never actually given proper safety equipment that you would require to do that job. They were only given hair nets, lab coats, and safety goggles, leaving their hands and faces completely exposed. Workers would regularly report migraines and chemical burns varying in severity. Now, if this isn't bad enough, they were also forced to act as human test subjects for Kylie's new products. This woman was on the cover of Forbes magazine. She was so proud of her company for not testing products on animals, but like, can we agree that using people is like a billion times worse? Number 5. King Charles' Affair The recently crowned King of England has not always played by the rules. In 1981, Prince Charles married Lady Diana, who was 20 years old at the time, leaving a 13 year age gap between them. Behind closed doors, it was speculated that Charles was never actually in love with Diana in the first place, and that was later proven to be true. While things seemed pleasant on the outside, behind the scenes, Charles was secretly meeting up and having an affair with his ex-girlfriend, Camilla Bowles. The alleged relationship was written about in the 1992 Diana, Her True Story, but in 1994, Charles actually confirmed the allegations in a documentary. You know, because that's the perfect place to do it. The couple filed for a divorce in 1996, and Diana died one year later. While the now king made it clear that he had no plans to remarry, he ended up getting remarried in 2005 to, oh hey look, it's Camilla Bowles. Shocking. Number 4. Arnold's Love Child Action movie star and former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger made headlines in 2011 with the revelation that an old rumor was in fact true. In 1996, Arnold was married to Maria Shriver, a member of the Kennedy family, and they were prepping to welcome their new son Christopher into the world. Arnie didn't prep by building them cribs or baby-proofing the outlets though, instead he decided to have an affair with his longtime housekeeper Mildred Baina. Around the same time Christopher was born, so was his illegitimate son, Joseph. Rumors began to rise after his wife noticed the strange and sudden absence of the housekeeper and wondered if there might have been a more sinister reason for her departure. It was later revealed in 2011 that Arnold decided to address those rumors and claim Joseph as his own. Turns out Arnold had given Mildred a large severance package back in the day so she could properly raise their son, leaving on what they called good terms. Well, eventually, after many years of trying and lots of paperwork, Maria and Arnold were divorced and he's now able to spend more time as a papa. Number 3. Donald Trump's Criminal Activities In 2006, Donald Trump was known solely as a wealthy real estate mogul with a hit reality TV show, The Apprentice. He had recently been married to one Melania Trump and they had a newly born four month old baby. However, reports leaked that Trump was in the midst of an affair with adult film star Stormy Daniels after she filed a civil suit claiming the contract he made her sign to keep quiet was invalid. Daniels claimed that herself and Trump had shared an intimate relationship for roughly a year during his marriage to Melania. These weren't the first allegations of an affair as Trump has been back and forth in the media since the 1970s being accused by like 26 women of misconduct. While these rumors never held any merit at first, the truth was finally set free. After being the most chaotic president in recent history, it was announced in March that Trump was going to be arrested on 34 separate violations of a New York law against falsifying business documents to conceal another crime. Over the years, he was essentially taking company money and using it to pay off anyone who may have been a threat to him, both personally or politically. Thanks for the free money, Donnie. Number 2. Paula Deen Paula Deen is basically Martha Stewart just from the south. Paula opened her first restaurant in a Best Western Lodge in Savannah and called it The Lady in 1991. She went on to own and operate several of her own restaurants as well as hosting a very popular cooking show called Paula's Home Cooking. Paula shared her recipes for delicious home cooked meals and took the cooking world by storm until 2013 when it was revealed that maybe Paula shouldn't be allowed to have a phone. Rumors had been circulating of a more sinister persona buried beneath the warm sweet sun southern lady we saw on TV, and it turned out those rumors were confirmed by Paula herself. Paula admitted to using racial slurs on her social media posts in the past. She would post these rants and aggressive comments, and then she would just immediately delete them to like avoid being blasted in the media. Well, hey, the internet's forever, Paula, and Paula's cooking show got cancelled. <laughs> it's all good though, she started another show on the very successful streaming device, Roku. You know, so so popular, just so popular. Number 1. Michael Richards Michael Richards played one of the most famous 
greatest sitcom characters of all time on one of the most famous sitcoms of all time. He played Cosmo Kramer on the show Seinfeld for 9 years, and in that time made fans laugh and cry with his hilarious antics and wild lifestyle. Unfortunately, those laughs and cries turned to booze and anger. In 2006, Michael made an appearance at the Laugh Factory in California, where he went on a racially fueled tirade after responding to a heckler in the audience. Rumors of his bias had been circulating for a few years, as Richard wasn't a stranger to using choice words and phrases in his stand-up acts that were considered offensive and racist. Since the reveal of his true behavior, Richards has received an enormous amount of backlash and has given up comedy for good. He was also brought on as a guest on Jerry Seinfeld's popular show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, and addressed the situation with Seinfeld. Richards seemed very apologetic and he understood that what he said and did was wrong. But hey man, the words that he spoke that night still circulate the internet to this day. So sorry Michael. And at number 10 we have The Weeknd. The Weeknd has famously stood his ground against the Grammys after he received zero nominations for this year's Grammys, even though he had more commercial success than most other artists. He expressed his anger in a tweet after nominations were revealed, where he wrote, quote, The Grammys remain corrupt. You owe me, my fans, and the industry transparency. He said in a statement later that he would be boycotting the Grammys for good, saying, quote, I will no longer allow my label to submit my music to the Grammys because of secret committees. And these committees are selected by the Recording Academy to review and select nominations before they're given out to the entire committee to vote for the winner. These committees are also able to add artists who receive zero nominations in all but the four primary categories. His outrage has caused tons of artists and fans to support him in boycotting the award show. Also, the show is being called the Scammies online rather than the Grammys. And at number nine, Britney Spears. Britney's been shedding light on her scary conservatorship situation since 2019. Britney's been under the care of a conservator since 2008, with her being unable to control many aspects of her life financially and even socially. Since 2019, her father Jamie has had sole control of the conservatorship. This is when she started fighting, and she's petitioned the courts to have someone else put on that conservatorship other than her father. A documentary called Framing Britney Spears that was recently released also highlighted on the constraints in Britney's life, as well as touching on how negative media coverage of her has caused her mental health to suffer. This has also caused the Free Britney movement to gain traction online. And I'm just so happy that her fans finally know the truth about her situation so we can support her when needed. And at number 8, Taylor Swift. Right as Calvin Harris and Taylor Swift had their messy split, a big secret was exposed. The demise of this couple is directly related to the success of the hit song, This Is What You Came For. The song became a huge hit when it was released by Calvin Harris in collaboration with Rihanna. But we later learned that Taylor actually wrote the song and brought it to Calvin, where they collaborated on it. But they decided not to release it together, but rather give Taylor credit through a pseudonym, Niels Seiberg. However, months later after it became a hit, Calvin would ask if he would ever collaborate with Taylor. When he said no and didn't reveal that Taylor was a huge part in his current hit song, Taylor decided to expose that she co-wrote it. He then clapped back on Twitter, tweeting, quote, I figure if you're happy in your new relationship, you should focus on that, instead of trying to tear your ex-boyfriend down for something to do. I know you're off on tour and you need someone new to try and bury like Katie, etc, but I'm not that guy, sorry I won't allow it. And oh boy, did that just open up another whole separate can of worms, because that whole situation was very, very juicy and exposed a lot. And at number 7, Ronan Farrow. Ronan Farrow was the first person to blow the lid on the horrible actions of disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. Ronan even published a book, Catch and Kill, which details his reporting process in investigating Weinstein. Weinstein's treatment of women. After his book came out, many Hollywood actresses came forward with their stories against the producer. This led to him being convicted of multiple crimes related to harmful and indecent behavior towards women. Farrah's reporting not only exposed many secrets in Hollywood, but gained tons of support for the Me Too movement that became popularized around that time. He ended up winning a Pulitzer Prize for his reporting as well. And at number 6, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle exposed secrets of the royal family in her tell-all interview with Oprah last month. In the two hour long interview, she spoke of why her and Harry decided to leave the royal family and the treatment that she was subjected to. She said that the negative treatment by not only the family but the media pushed her mental health to the breaking point. And she even considered taking her own life at one point. She also said that when she went to the palace to get help, they did nothing, forcing her and Harry to leave. She also discussed negative differences between her children and other royal grandchildren, citing skin color as the reason for this. With her even mentioning at one point the question surrounding how dark Archie's skin would be when he was born was a point of conversation. Halfway number 5, Nikki DeJagger. YouTube star Nikki Tutorials was one of the first mainstream celebrities that had the guts to expose Ellen for how she treated people. Nikki went on The Ellen Show after her coming out video went viral, but she exposed that the experience was not so great on a Dutch late night show. In that interview, when the host asked Nikki how her time on Ellen was, Nikki did not hold back, calling Ellen distant and cold, saying that Ellen didn't even come say hi to her before the show. Nikki
Vicky said in another interview that Ellen also did not let her use the bathroom. Apparently the Jonas Brothers were on the show that same day and Ellen didn't have enough for everyone. I do not believe that for one second. And honestly, after all that was exposed was when I believe Ellen's downfall really began. And at number four, Johnny Depp. After Amber Heard made allegations that her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, had been physical with her, Johnny has been doing everything in his power to clear his name. And a lot has been exposed that has made tons of Hollywood stars flock to support Johnny in his legal battle with Amber. After her allegations were made, a leaked phone call exposed that Amber had admitted to being physical with Johnny. As well, plenty of friends and employees of Amber's came forward to say that she lied about having bruises on her face, such as her stylist and even her assistant. And over time, as more comes to light, it seems that Johnny has been the one telling the truth. And at number three, Prince. Another artist that has exposed the music industry was Prince. He made negative statements after he decided to release his newest album at that time exclusively to Tidal. When speaking about why he sidestepped working with the label on his project, he said, quote, record contracts are just like, I'm gonna say the word, slave. I would tell any young artist, don't sign. He also stated that record labels turn artists into quote, indentured servitude, as artists have little control over how their music is used or how much money is made off of it. And these statements were not the first time that he called out the business. Back in 1993, while he was fighting with Warner Brothers over his contract, he frequently appeared on stage with the word written on his face. And in at number two, Kanye West. Kanye West straight up hates the music business and has expressed frustration over contracts, as well as the fact that he does not own his own masters. Last year, he called the music industry and the NBA, quote, modern day ships while he was fighting to own his masters. He added on Twitter, quote, when you sign a music deal, you sign away your rights. Without the masters, you can't do anything with your own music. Someone else controls where it's played and when it's played. Artists have nothing except fame, touring, and merch. Adding later that his children will own his masters, not the children of record executives. Connie has also created his own label, Good Music, where he pledges to have fair contracts for his artists. And finally, at number one, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt still have not settled their divorce and will be going to court soon to work out their child custody. Angelina is adamant about getting full custody of her children, and a new report from The Blast claims that Jolie is prepared to submit proof of domestic harm from Pitt in their marriage. These rumors first came to light in 2016 after the divorce when Pitt was being investigated by social services for allegedly being physical with one of their kids on a private jet. However, after the investigation, the claims were dropped. The documents also show that Angelina is planning on having her children testify as well. Depending on what is revealed during that case, a massive secret could be revealed about Pitt, but we'll have to wait until more information comes out before we start making any assumptions. Number 10, Ellen DeGeneres. Though many of us know Ellen DeGeneres as a famed talk show host, she's also an actress, having starred in her own comedy show as well as voicing Dory in Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, she certainly fits the criteria for this list. Last year, Ellen was exposed for creating a toxic work environment on The Ellen Show, and she was the recipient of a lot of negative attention and backlash in 2020. Rumors started circulating about Ellen not being as nice as she is portrayed as on TV, and soon former employees started coming forward with their own horror stories about Ellen and the work environment they had to deal with. There were allegations of racial microaggressions, discrimination, and harassment on the part of Ellen as well as other higher ups in the company. For months, Ellen was being exposed for her toxic behavior and she faced a lot of flack for it, having to issue multiple apologies to make up for things. Stars who have been on The Ellen Show in the past came forward to talk about their experiences with comedian, and many interviews were also being picked apart by people online, digging up moments that show Ellen in a negative light. Basically, Ellen got exposed to the max, and I don't know if things will ever really be the same for her. At number nine, Gina Carano. Sometimes your post can come back to bite you, and this is exactly what happened with actress Gina Carano. Known for her role on the Disney Plus series Mandalorian, Gina faced massive backlash for her social media posts that exposed her ideals. Though there were a few posts that garnered a lot of negative attention, the one that was seemingly the last straw for her Disney career was a post that compared being a Republican to being a victim of the Holocaust saying that Republicans are being persecuted because of their political beliefs. A lot of people took offense to this. Other posts that caused Gina to face scrutiny include her tweets about voter fraud in the US, as well as posts mocking people who wear masks amid the pandemic. According to a source, the people behind the Mandalorian series had been looking for a reason to fire Gina because of her controversial social media presence, and so this exposure led them to firing Gina from her role. Before I carry on with this list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also check out my gaming channel, Viper Girl, if you're looking for some chill gaming vibes with yours truly. 
At number eight, Anthony Mackie. I don't think anyone likes the person that they used to be. As we have discovered with many people on social media, past tweets and posts can definitely age poorly, and this is something that we often see with celebrities. Marvel actor Anthony Mackie, best known in the MCU as The Falcon, faced cancellation recently after a video of him resurfaced that definitely wasn't a good look for him. The video in question was a clip from an interview he did with Wendy Williams back in 2015 that's seen as sexist and misogynistic. In the clip, Mackie is seen talking with Wendy about gender roles in relationships where he goes on to say that a woman's job is to make her partner a sandwich. As a result of these comments, Anthony was exposed for his sexist views back then. He was called out for these comments when the interview first took place, and he was exposed for them again this year, showing us that the internet never truly forgets. At number 7, Chris Evans. Another MCU actor who's been exposed is none other than Captain America himself, Chris Evans, though he was exposed very differently. Back in September 2020, Chris found himself caught in a photo leak scandal that got everyone buzzing. Though many celebrity private photo leaks happen because they've been hacked, in this case, Chris was the one who exposed himself, though it was an accident. Basically what happened was that Chris shared a video to his Instagram story that was a screen recording of his camera roll. At the end of the recording, the video showed a small clip of other images in his camera roll, and there was a picture of his, let's say, little Avenger. Catch my drift? <laughs> Chris really exposed himself there, and it got a lot of people talking, making memes, and also standing up for him, trying to defend his honor, if you will. This whole thing actually turned into a message about double standards, as just a few weeks later, Cardi B faced a similar leak, and instead of defending her like they did for Chris, they made fun of her. So really, not only did Chris expose himself, but he also exposed the internet for their double standards. At number six, Hartley Sawyer. When I think about the worst case of tweets coming back to bite you, my mind immediately thinks back to former Flash actor Hartley Sawyer, and his many, many offensive tweets that were exposed back in 2020. Hardly, who's best known for having played Ralph Dibney, aka the elongated man on the CW's The Flash, when many of his tweets were brought to light. These tweets, which span as far back as 2009, highlight Hartley's offensive attempts at humor, many of them including racist, sexist, homophobic, and even violent messages. These tweets were brought to light during the Black Lives Matter movement that saw a big jump in support last summer, and as fans dug deep into many celebrities' lives, this is one of the biggest stories of celebrity exposure that came out during that time. As a result of these offensive tweets, Hardly was fired from his role on The Flash and has been MIA from social media since issuing an apology for his actions. At number five, Leah Michelle. Hardly Sora wasn't the only actor to have been exposed for racism during the height of the Black Lives Matter movement last summer. TV and Broadway actress Leah Michelle was also exposed for her insensitive behavior after a former co-star called her out for the way Leah treated her while working together. Samantha Ware, an actress who worked alongside Leah on Glee, took to Twitter to expose Leah for treating her poorly and for her racial microaggressions. After Samantha came forward about her experience of working with Leah, more people came forward to back up her claims, as well as to share their own horror stories of the actress. People made comments about how Leah would treat extras on set, calling them cockroaches, as well as members of the crew, saying how she would throw a tantrum when people were running late, and even spitting in craft service food on a few occasions. Leah was painted as someone that you wouldn't want to work with, and as a result of this exposure, she lost a partnership with HelloFresh because they said that they do not condone the kind of behavior Leah was being exposed for. At number four, Meghan Markle. A few weeks ago, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sat down for an exclusive interview with Oprah where they went in depth about their split in the royal family, as well as their feelings having been a part of it. A lot of information was shared as they opened up about their life, and Meghan kind of exposed herself during this interview. She spoke a lot about her perspective of life in the royal family, speaking out about her mental health, saying that there was a time where she wanted to end her own life, as well as sharing details about her marriage to Harry that had been kept secret until now. Things like how Meghan and Harry had gotten married in secret before their big televised ceremony, and how efforts were made to keep them apart. But Meghan didn't only expose herself and her position in the royal family, she also exposed others as well, making comments on the racism in the family and how they had trapped Meghan and Harry as well. So much information came out about everyone in the royal family, so it's safe to say that everyone was exposed that day. At number 3, Shia LaBeouf. One celebrity who's had his fair share of exposures in the media is former Disney star Shia LaBeouf. In the past, he's been called out for things like lying and racism, but recently he's been exposed as an abuser as well. 
In late December, Shia's ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs, issued a lawsuit against the actor citing verbal, physical, and emotional abuse. In the lawsuit, Twigs cited many instances of abuse that she endured while in this relationship, ranging from violent outbursts and attacks to disturbing methods of, quote, getting into character. But this exposure also brought to light Shia's history of negative behavior. He was recently fired from Olivia Wilde's film Don't Worry Darling because of reported clashes on set between Shia and other cast members, as people said that Shia is, quote, not an easy guy to work with. Twig's allegations of abuse have also been backed up by Sia, as she said that she was emotionally abused by Shia when they were together, and other people have come forward with negative experiences with the actor as well. This one exposure turned into a bigger scandal because it brought more victims forward and could still blow up to be a bigger ordeal. At number two, Bella Thorne. Another former Disney star who's been exposed in the past is none other than Bella Thorne. These days, Bella doesn't have a very good reputation in the media as she seems to go from scandal to scandal every few months, so being exposed just seems to be like a normal day for her at this point. Back in September 2020, Bella was exposed by a small business owner for having scammed her out of over $1,500 worth of merchandise. Lauren Rivera, the owner of a small jewelry business, came forward to expose Bella for having stolen goods given to her for a brand deal in order to help raise awareness for small businesses dealing with influencers and celebrities. Bella had made an agreement to promote Lauren's business in exchange for the jewelry, but because that promotional post never came, Lauren sought out to seek justice in a way. She posted their messages showing that Bella did in fact agree to post about the business and even showed some of Bella's posts showing her wearing the jewelry without having tagged Lauren's business. This exposure came out around the same time as Bella's OnlyFans scandal, so it really just added more drama on top of that which Bella was already facing at the time. And finally at number one, Army Hammer. Back in January of this year, actor Army Hammer, best known for his role in the film Call me by your name, was exposed after DMs were leaked which showed the actor talking about bedroom fantasies. These screenshots of conversations with women spanning between 2016 and 2020 show ARMY discussing his desire to act out fantasies including consensual non-consent and eating his partner. As a result of these leaked DMs, ARMY's image took a big hit. He dropped out of an upcoming film called Shotgun Wedding where he was set to star alongside Jennifer Lopez and he was also dropped from a Paramount Plus series about the making of The Godfather. On top of that, Army was also dropped by his agent and his publicist as well. This exposure took a really big toll on Army's career, and there's no telling if he'll really be able to bounce back from this.